everyone and welcome to Serpente Sunday for March 20th, 2022. It's the first day of spring in the United States and the weather is gradually becoming safer for shipping reptiles. I thought this would be a good time to go over how I receive snakes when they're shipped to me. I pick them up directly from my local FedEx ship center, but not the one closest to my house. I pick up at the ship center where the snakes and other reptiles are taken to directly from the plane when it lands. When the FedEx aircraft lands at the airport, the reptiles are offloaded and driven to a sort center, and I pick up directly from there. It's not the closest FedEx facility to me, but it is the location where I can pick up the snakes at the earliest possible time, which is 0900 as soon as they open, and this means the snakes don't have to be loaded onto another truck to be driven to another location for pickup. It also reduces the time that they're sitting in a box. I open up the boxes and check on the snakes right there, either inside the FedEx lobby or outside in the parking lot in my vehicle. This way I can check the welfare of the animal and if there's any problem, I can report it immediately and the FedEx personnel are there as witnesses. I open the deli container or the bag to look inside and make sure the snakes are alive active and alert. I do not remove them from their container. I just look at them. Once I see that they're okay, I place the open container into a transport tub for the drive home, which is about an hour for me. This way I'm not being intrusive and invading the snake's personal space. I don't wanna do anything that makes them afraid during our first encounter with each other. They are free to come out in their own time as they choose to. Some snakes actually pop right out immediately, sometimes before I'm even ready for them to, and they display a propensity for boldness and exploration. Others are more reserved and some don't come out at all. If they come out immediately and are attempting to explore in a relaxed fashion, I allow them to for a few minutes and I don't immediately shove them into a container and put the lid on. If they seem shy or fearful and they're not coming out, I do put them right into the travel container and I cover it with the lid to help them feel more secure. I try to make the snake's first experience with me as positive as possible and avoid making the interaction aversive if I can. I seat belt the containers in the passenger seat if they fit, and if not, I secure them on the floor of my cargo van. This might be the case for larger snakes who I've placed in bigger transport containers than what will fit in the seat or for containers that the seat belt won't safely fit around, and then we head home. To learn more about shipping, packaging, and receiving live animals, I recommend going to Ship Your Reptiles website where they provide detailed information about all things shipping. <music> 